Hey, this is Cyprian from Fear for All, and in today's video, I'll show you how to manually map mesh a plate with two holes like this one. In order to get a professional meshing like this one, which is a very good meshing in order to get great results. Um, and this is actually uh, something that a lot of people don't know how to do. So I decided to, to make this video to show you how to create such kind of meshing. Because what the usually uh, people will do is that they will simply try to auto mesh this. So let's see what I have if I try to auto mesh that. Let's reduce the size to eight millimeter. And let's apply. Oh. No, it's definitely not what I want. Let's go back. Let's try another kind. So here I'm using Deloni measure. Let's try only with quadrilateral to see what I will get. And if I get something better. Apply. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, and if I try the map mesh, the map face option, will it give me something? No, the, the face cannot be map meshed. Okay, so now you see there is no other option uh, and you have to actually do that manually. So how you do that? Well, this is what I will show you right now in this video. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing you have to do is to extract the edges of this plate. So you now this is a surface element, so I'll use um, in the geometry function something called extract and sorry maybe not extract uh, let's say explode okay and I will explode this shape into edges and now I'm hiding the surface and you see that in the walk tree the different uh, edges have been extracted from this face uh, let's display the grid and now I will start to work on this uh, face in order to create what you will call a patch around the hole. So I will use for that the line element, uh, the geometry, it's not really an element, uh, in order to... Uh, so I'm using the... let's change the snap to grid snap, that. And I will uh, create like that some kind of patch around the hole. So, uh, to create a patch around this hole, I have to create a rectangle of uh, the right size. Uh, so, I could just try to find the right size manually like that, but there's also a way to do that, which is by... Um, which is by first creating a line. So, let's create a line like that here and let's say okay no I don't I don't want it to snap here uh, and now you are choosing the the size of the patch so let's say it will be uh, of this size and let's create another point here and let's just mirror so I'm showing you the, the most general case. So you can do it with any uh, kind of shape. And let's mirror this point. So it uh, is here. And now you can create a polyline, which will be like that, a rectangle around the hole. And this is my, my patch around the hole. So, um, and now what you want to do is to split uh, this patch around the hole into four portions that you will be able to map mesh afterwards. So, just creating line elements like that. And once you did that, Let's also, you see there's a lot of space around this hole. So we have to divide also this space into 
portions that will be able to be uh, patched afterwards and meshed separately. So the best is to mesh it into portion of, let's say, square portion, but it doesn't necessarily have to be square, but it will be more uh, easy in this case. Uh, and now that we got that, I have to uh, create intersection of the edges, which means here you see uh, the edges like that. I will not be able to create a surface for this because the edge is too long, so I have to cut this edge uh, with this, this one, so we could call that intersection. So for example, if I do the intersection of those two edges, you see that this edge has been split in two. So now I'll just select all the edges from this uh, face here, plus this one as well, and I'm just, you see, intersecting all that. And now, now that I have that, I have to create surfaces. Uh, so you could also mesh directly with the edges, but it's not uh, very obvious. So I prefer to create surfaces like that. So you select the edges to create surfaces. It seems like a lot of work, but you see that actually that's not so difficult to do that. And once you will do that with a lot of different models, it will be more easy for you. So uh, I forgot to split this edge here. So I have also to intersect this one. Okay. And now let's hide the curves and the points and keep only uh, the surfaces. Now you think I could directly mesh that, but uh, the surfaces here actually uh, are not related one to another. And if I uh, check the geometry, uh, there's something called check duplicate, apply. You see that the edges in green are actually duplicated edges. So we don't want to have that uh, because if you have duplicated edges, the seed from the mesh will not be uh, the same on the two surfaces, which means what? Which means when I will try to mesh this one and I will try to mesh this one and merge automatically the nodes on the surface, it will not be able to recognize the nodes from this patch and from this patch. So I have to match the seed between. And for that, the edges should be the same. So. In order to be able to do that, I have to do a boolean operation and actually to uh, you can sew the different edges together like that. And if you do that and you check again duplicates, you see that now the ed edges are not duplicated anymore. So it will be much more easy for the meshing afterwards. And now let's go for the meshing. So now that I've created this patch and I splitted my surface into smaller, uh, you see like that, areas, I can go again in this 2D meshing function and choose the map face uh, area and choose the face that I want at the right size, do a preview. And now the problem is that it's not uh, choosing the right orientation. Why is that? Because when you, you map mesh act actually uh, you, you have to have four corners. Here you have one, two, three, four, five corners, so it doesn't know which orientation you want to map mesh. But you have an option here, select the corner points. So you have to select like that, the four uh, corner points. And once you do that, you see that now it's oriented towards uh, the hole. So this is what I want. Uh, so let's apply. And now I have my first uh, corner. Uh, by the way, the plate became uh, transparent, but it's still here, so I will hide the grid so you see it again. Um, you have to go in the advanced option and check that the merge node option is still checked. 
And let's do basically the same for, uh, for the other uh, faces around the hole. Like that. Okay. And this one as well. Oh, not not this. Okay. This. Okay. So now I meshed the 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 portion around the hole, and now I have to complete and mesh the other parts. And this would be much more easy because the faces are connected together. So if you see, I do a preview, you see it automatically merge uh, the right. Uh, the right number of elements. Okay, and now I have this portion done. Uh, and now to have the other portion, well, I think it's obvious. I will not do the same uh, again. I, the other thing I have to do is to actually mirror all that mirror we'll to this axis okay and I got this so there are different colors and now finally the only thing I have to do is to uh, merge all those mesh sets together And here you have, and this is how you uh, create uh, this beautiful mesh for this plate. Now, if you want, let's say, uh, so to to transform that into a three D three D plate, so it's actually uh, quite easy. The other thing you have to do is to uh, to extrude. This mesh that I just created. So select this. Um, I can delete the source mesh if I want. Um, I select the direction. So let's say in along this axis. And here you can select the lens and the number of divisions you want. And here on the preview, you have you have the kind of mesh you will get, so it looks okay. And now you get you get a 3D uh, mesh of the plate, which has a very good uh, quality uh, around the holes. So, so that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoy this, and that uh, you will learn a lot from this uh, manual meshing uh, video. Thank you for watching. You can also come and visit my blog fefall.com where you will find a lot more interesting articles all about FEA.